Yes, I'm back with allotment news for 2018. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I haven't been growing anything. And uh, as you can see today, it's a glorious blue sky, sunny day in February. And I'm back on plots 44 and 43. Um, now, since last season, uh, if you follow my Instagram and Twitter feeds, you will have known already that the greenhouse of joy that I uh, broadcast from on a regular basis last year got blown away, not once twice and uh, the first time it got blown away we managed to the, kind of restore it and bring it back and strap it down but then the wind decided to get it again and it got completely gashmattered so r.i.p greenhouse good news is that i've ordered a poly tunnel which has arrived and hopefully we should be putting that up this weekend now in the meantime whilst it's not been particularly pleasant for growing or doing much i have been doing a lot of digging and landscaping to make way for a new raised bed area which i'm terribly excited about um I have also started chitting my potatoes ooh, in uh, my uh, window of the shed at home. So they're sitting there quite happily. Just for your information, I am growing some Pentland Javelin for my earlies, which we thoroughly enjoyed last year. They were delicious. And this year for my second earlies, I'm growing some Charlotte potatoes. And my main crop this year are Sarpo Miro, or Miro, someone's going to correct me, um, which are apparently blight resistant potatoes. Marvellous. And another, another main crop potato, little bit of an experiment, Blue Danube. Now these are purple inside, allegedly, and I'm quite excited about that. So um, I'm going to give you a tour around just to see what's going on at the moment and uh, we're gonna start the season off right here right now isn't that a picture that is the gorgeous blue gingham set of curtains my mother made for my little shed my little purple shed and doesn't that look quite arty actually there we go right now coming out of the shed let's walk down the allotment now these are the strawberry beds that um, I delegated at the end of last season. I have membraned the beds so, um, to try and prevent some of the weeds coming through, although I do spy some grass, you pesky little creature. Um, so hopefully these strawberries will be doing their thing. Now, last year El Capitano dug a pond space for us. Yes, fully aware it looks a bit like a grave full of water. Um, we will be draining this of this slushy revolting water, putting in a pond membrane, making way with some little froggy muty fishy friends which will hopefully, uh, well the fish won't because they can't jump out but uh, hopefully the froggy friends will eat all the slugs and snails. Cunning plan! And this is what I've been doing lately. I have been levelling off all of this that was a massive pile of rubbish and plastic bags underneath a big load of soil and that's all flattened. Look at that. And we're looking down. Now all of this I've got to kind of dig over and membrane because all of that is going to be raised beds. That green space you can see is where my poly tunnel's going to go. Exciting. Now something that's always reassuring to see arriving back is rhubarb and I love the way it bursts forth. I'm sorry I'm squinting, it's terribly unattractive. I love the way it bursts forth and I'm going to show you now if my camera will allow me to change around, which it won't, so I'm gonna switch it around. Hello, my little rhubarb friend. Now, isn't that quite beautiful? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, just so you can see how it looks. So if you've not grown rhubarb before, that's how it looks when it reappears. Isn't that quite magical? Um, I do have another little plant that's doing its thing as well. That's all quite exciting. Over here, these are the foxgloves that I planted last year. Hopefully we're going to have some gorgeousness from them. There's a heck of a lot of weeding to do. And if you look down there, now that was all unusable land last year. I've kind of leveled that off and dug it over. And uh, that's going to be a lot of potatoes, peas, beans, you name it, it's all going to be going on. We have a bonfire ready to be lit over there. This is the site of the old greenhouse. That looks a bit sad really, doesn't it? Right, in true form, oh brilliant, the uh, refuse bag is blowing away and it's now snowing. <laughs> snowing! Oh, bye bye bag. Uh, we've had to take a refuge in the shed 
Uh, the snow hail combo is actually hurting my face. Um, it was meant to be sunny all day. Ha ha ha. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, that's all I have to show you right now. It's all work in progress. I will be bringing you some allotment news, not really from the allotment. Mm, so it's gonna be home news from the home mini greenhouse. I bought one of those 14.99 four tiered PVC covered mini greenhouses for home so I can keep an eye on some of my seedlings. So um, whilst I'm waiting for the pony tunnel to go up, I can still do a bit of uh, sewing and stuff at home. So there we go, first allotment news of 2018. You've missed me, haven't you? I should be back very soon.